Mixtures and solutions. In this video, you are going to identify how mixtures and solutions are similar, but how they are also different. On the next piece of note page in your workbook that's empty, we're going to take notes on mixtures. So mixtures are a combination of two or more different kinds of matter. And remember, matter is anything that takes up space, has volume, or has mass. Okay? Each of those different kinds of matter keeps its own physical properties, and they tend to be easy to separate. So we can separate things using a paper filter, using um, our fingers. We can use uh, screens. We can even use magnets. So with this like check mix picture down at the bottom, I would just use my fingers to filter it, all right, to separate the pretzels from the nuts from the check mix. So if I take a mixture of sulfur and iron fillings, so I mix them together right down here, okay, I can actually separate them using a magnet. So the mixture of iron and sulfur down here, if I use the magnet, it's only going to pick up the iron. And so all that will be left in the dish is sulfur. So I have a mixture of gravel. So you notice that I've got large rocks, I've got small rocks, and I probably even have sand. So what I can do is to separate it easily is I can take a screen and screens, what's nice is I can find screens with different size openings. So to filter out the largest rocks, I would use a really large uh, opening for those screens. So all the smaller rocks in the gravel fall through. So then I can separate and put the large rocks in like one area. Then I can use another smaller screen to filter out the next size rocks and put them in another pile. And so that's how we would use screens to filter out different mixtures. You are going to add these notes to your note page. So solutions, they are a type of mixture. Um, solutions are when one substance dissolves in another. And then sometimes solutions are difficult to separate. So one example of a solution that's very common is sugar and water. When we dissolve sugar and water, we can't see the sugar particles anymore. It's evenly distributed throughout the water particles. So that makes it a solution. We only know that there's sugar in the water when we take a, take a sip of it and it's sweet. So here's some more specific information about solutions. A solution is a special mixture in which a substance is dissolved. The substance is spread out evenly and does not settle at the bottom. In a solution, the substance that dissolves is actually called the solute. And then a solvent is a substance in which the solute is being dissolved. So they tend to think of water as the universal solvent. So Kool-Aid is an example of a solution. The Kool-Aid mix, which would be the solid, is the solute, and the water is the solvent. And when we mix them together, the solute of Kool-Aid dissolves in the water, and we can't see the different particles. It looks like one substance. Other similar examples would be making lemonade, coffee, hot chocolate, etc., etc. So I can make a solution using two solids also. I can take tin as solid, I can take copper as solid, and what I would do is I would melt both of them, and then I would mix the melted liquid, and that would make a solid brass once it hardened. So I can take two solids and also make a solution, which would make it very difficult to separate the tin from the copper. We also have solutions that are made of just gases. So the air that we breathe contains 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, some other gases that make up the other 1% is argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, methane, krypton, and hydrogen. So I can take two gases and make a solution. So it's time for our exit ticket. So get a small piece of paper and put your first and last name at the top. On the left side, you're gonna write number one, then below at number two, and then below at number three. Your answer for all three is either gonna be the word mixture 
or the word solution. So what we do know is that a solution is always a mixture. However, mixtures are not always solutions. So you need to find out which is it, okay? And that's what word you will write next to one, two, and three. Number one, is this just a mixture or is it also a solution? So if it's just a mixture, you write a mixture. If it's a solution, then you would write solution. So we have an example of mixing gravel and water and five minutes later, we have a gravel mixture. So would that be just a mixture or is it also a solution? Put it on the line, spelling counts. Number two. Remember, just a mixture or also a solution. So we have mixing dry milk and water, and then this milk mixture after five minutes. Is it just a mixture or is it also a solution? Spelling counts. Last but not least, number three. Is this a mixture or a solution? So I have mixing salt and water and this salt mixture after five minutes. So is it just a mixture or is it also a solution? Spelling counts. Put it in the tray when you're done.